Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to modify our Arduino Nano to work with this bot. So the, the Nano that we have has these header pins that stick out of the bottom of it. And you can see them here. And the header pins are great for connecting it to a prototyping board or a breadboard. But they, they don't provide a lot of ways for us to connect it to our particular bot. So we have these female header pin connectors. And uh, they've got a, a male end and a female end. So we're going to trim off just the right number of those using our nipper pliers. And uh, so once we have those trimmed off, we're going to connect the header pins from the Arduino to the header pins on our female male header pin connectors. And that will allow us to plug wires in and take them back out really easily. So it'll make it easier for us to, to change things out. Otherwise, we would have to solder directly to the Arduino. And that could be a problem if for some reason we wanted to change something around. So we want to make sure that we count the exact number of pins uh, that is sticking out of the Arduino board. And we match the um, male-female header pin connector to the number of pins um, that are sticking out there. So we're going to take these pins and we're going to bend them 90 degrees with our pliers. So we're going to grab our pliers and just going to bend those pins 90 degrees. It's really important that we, that we do this carefully and that we bend them completely uh, out 90 degrees so that they're sticking straight out of the side. So they were stri sticking straight down, so we're going to make sure that we bend them completely to stick straight out the side. And you probably have to bend them a couple of times to get them perfectly straight um, and get them to line up just right. But this is going to make it a lot easier for us to connect to those uh, male-female header socket pins, uh, which are sitting there on the table. OK, so we're bending all these out. And what we can do is once we've got those bent out, uh, you, it's important also that they're all sort of bent out at the same angle. You don't want them sticking in all a bunch of different directions. You want them all reasonably the same. Okay, so when we push this down, we can tell that there's still a little bit um, that we can bend those to get them perfectly horizontal. So they should be they should be at the same uh, plane. They should be in the same plane as the actual Arduino board. So perfectly horizontal, and uh, that'll make it a lot easier to uh, make our solder connections with our. Uh, male female socket pin connectors or header pin connectors that are again sitting on the table there okay so now that we've got all that bent out uh, we're going to take our uh, alligator clips or the helping hand clips and uh, we're gonna hold our Arduino in place now if you're working with a partner you can get this uh, you can get them to take a pliers and hold the uh, the nano in place just be sure when you grab the nano that you only touch the very corners the parts that you see the little holes on you don't want to uh, squeeze any of the components. You see a lot of little boxes on the back there. Those are components. And if you grab those with an alligator clip or a pliers, you could break them off. And that means that the, the chip won't work the way it's supposed to. Or the board won't work the way it's supposed to, I should say. So once you have the, uh, the piece, you should have the, the pins from the header pin, the male-female header pin, connecting to the pins uh, from your Arduino. Uh, they should be flush up against the pins from the Arduino. So what I'm doing now is I'm just using some spare alligator clips to make sure that those two things are squeezed tightly against one another. And uh, then I'm going to take my soldering iron and make sure put a little bit of solder on it and uh, just knock that extra solder off again. We're just tinning the tip of the uh, soldering iron. And then I'm going to put the soldering iron right on the joint between those two things and just put enough solder on them to make sure that there's a, a good connection. You don't want to put too much solder because if you bridge the joint between the two pins, I mean, in other words, if you bridge across two different connections, uh, it'll cause some problems for you. It won't, the chip won't work the way it's supposed to. So you want to put just enough solder to connect the two, but not a whole lot more. And uh, you can see that, that that smoke from the flux is moving out of the way rapidly, and that's because I've got a good airflow. So I definitely recommend making sure you've got like a fan going or something so you don't, don't breathe the... Uh, the flux and so once you've got a number of those connected you can take that final uh, alligator clip off and I've, I just saw a pin there that needed a little bit more solder and we'll do the the rest there so now all of those pins are connected and what we've done is um, I'm just going back through and double checking any of the other pins we've we've done this is the second side so I did the second side the exact same way as the first side and so that means now that we can easily swap out the two. Um, and so I'm trimming off the excess wires. There's some wire that sticks past the solder joint. So I'm going to trim that off using the nipper pliers. And when you do this, make sure you're wearing safety glasses because those extra little wires can fly off. 
And uh, so you want to make sure you're wearing safety glasses to do that. Now we have to make sure that the parts that we just connected don't conduct electricity to some part of the board we don't want them to. So we're going to cover over the bottom of our Arduino Nano with electrical tape. And we want to make sure all of those connections we just made are completely covered. Otherwise, uh, they could rub up against some part of the motor controller or another exposed metal piece and cause a short. And that might ruin our board and we don't want that to happen. So now we are ready to connect our Arduino board to our motor controller.